Hey guys, it's Vic Merck and Hazani from Team Relinquish. Um, we're at PBG today. Uh, me and Hazani both played, of course, in the regional. But we also split top two on Sunday at our friend Travis's store, Cars and Board Games. We held our deck list until today just because we didn't want people to know what we were actually playing here at the event or what we were playing at the event. Um, so pretty much, Hazani was playing, what were you doing today? I was playing Dinos once again with Spicy Spice. Okay. Now, Spicy Spice, what, do you want to go into that now? Or do you want to just uh, wait till we get to it in the profile? We'll wait till we get to it. Okay. What were your matchups today, at least? So, round one, uh, I played against uh, Eldritch. Or not, yeah, Eldritch. Zoo Eldritch. I won. With, he took it to game three. Uh, round two, I played up against... What the hell did I play up against? I, I know I two owed them. I'm trying to remember who I played up against. Uh, not Shadol. Uh, no, I lied. I lost uh, in the mirror match. Um, he had Droll very early on in game one, and that kind of just ended my turn. So we pushed it to game three. Unfortunately, he had game three going first. He opened phenomenal. I didn't open a single hand trap, so I just watched and suffered. Uh, game three. I punted the hell out of game three. It was against Dragon Link, the Dragon Mage variant. I should have won. I had the I had game three in the bag. The problem was I forgot to search a certain card, and he decided to hold me and we went to time. And so because we went to time, I lost. Even though you know, following turn, I top deck, I win. Since he decided to be that way, fiend. What am I gonna do? Since he decided to be that way, I ended up losing. Um, I ended up 2 0 everyone after that, except for uh, Paleo. I made Dolka and Conductor. He decided to set Strike and three other traps, and I died. Two Torrentials. Yeah, two Torrentials and an Imperm, so it didn't matter. I, I lost hard. Um, I beat Guru 2 0. I beat uh, Phantom Knight 2 0. And there was something else, and I beat that too. So at least you had a variety today. I had a variety. Okay. All right. Yeah. Paleo. Yeah, someone played Paleo. Michael yeah. State Special? Oh, the, 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 kid, the, the kid like round three, right? Uh, round uh, six. Round six, I played. Oh. So, okay, yeah. let's get on to the deck profile. Triple OV, you know, this is the best starter in the deck. Um, not much to say about it by now. It's three cards in one. Monster Reborn, Rhoda, and Foolish. Misk, the god card. Uh, I had somebody try to debure me while I was under Misk, and I kind of just looked at them, and uh, that was that. <laughs> yeah, Misk is broken. The, the two Archosaur, not going to change this up. Like I said before, two is correct in my personal opinion. Playing three is bricky, playing one is too little. If you draw it, then you can't, you know, combo off with Misk. Playing three babies, two babies, one petite. Um, I cut out the third baby for more going second and counter active cards. Uh, I like this ratio a lot because I still get to combo off exactly the way I need to. It always showed up when I needed it, and plus you're still playing three fossil days. The one Rex, I don't care. This is not a brick. It will never be a brick. This helps facilitate certain plays and certain lines. The one Pank, let this card come back to more than one. That's all I got to say. Yes, at least two or three. <laughs> Double Conductor, probably not going to push it back up to three ever again. Two is, to me, just enough. Only time I've ever had to drop three Conductors was against True Draco. And that was like, that was more so me asserting dominance. I am back on the Wind Barrier uh, variant, simply because if I, my full board, if I end it with this way, if they have droplets, they're dropping three cards plus the droplets just to out that. So that's four cards out of your hand out of the starting six. Um, so at that point, I still have two to three more points of interruption for your remaining two cards. So it's, the only it's thing insane. that sucks is Dark Rule No More. If you have Dark Rule No More, you have Dark Rule No More. I can't do anything against it. Uh, double Ash, Double Lancia, Double Troll in the main. These hand traps hit everything in the meta currently. So I felt very comfortable with this. These two end turns, this one is universally good. So I was very comfortable with the hand trap lineup. Um, I was trying to work my way into bumping these two up to three, but I felt like uh, it would be a little too cloggy and I was cutting from other things. The triple fossil dig, we have the supers, of course. Yeah, I kept opening them. these in two ofs and it was so titty. Except for when I got drove. That was not fun. 
Newest edition, Droplets. Um, this card, whenever I saw it, always came up. I actually got game two against a Dino player. I summoned, I top deck, uh, I had uh, Conductor. He lanceated me, so I waited. Next turn, uh, I top deck Droplets. He has his Conductor and two other monsters. I was like, okay, cool. Vanish Rex and uh, another Dino from my grave. Summon Conductor, nothing. Rex effect, bring it back, nothing. I try to go battle phase, he activates his conductor, droplets send Rex, game. So that was my favorite point with droplets. Uh, double Drop Lost World. Broken. Droplets is extremely broken. That card is beyond free. Double Lost World. Uh, this stops interaction to a certain extent. It also you know prevents your opponent from targeting. So it turns off the Dragon Maid Trap, it turns off Fog Blade, it turns off Imperm for those that are still playing it. Um, and droplets cannot send the token, so. Double double evil pill. Never saw it. Uh, never saw both in my hand at any given time. So that was good. This card is extremely free. The one of called by the great. I decided to put it back in simply because I felt like it was worth it. And I'm like, Misk is a very big choke point for dinosaur. Like, if I have a little bit more protection, why not? Now on for the secret spice. I was playing Dogmatica Dinos. So this helped me play around Lancia a lot. Because people in Lancia and me, I'm like, okay, cool. Normal Archosaur, pop the baby, do regular dino things, and an Undolka. Then summon this. Set punishment, still have three uh, three to four points of interaction. It depends on if I started with that or the triple Nadir Servant. If I started with the triple Nadir Servant, then that's just extremely free. I ended up linking off Fleur de Lis to uh, make, uh, I think, Phoenix. Discarded a card, then summoned the Fleur de Lis back with Ecclesia on board and pushed for gate. Funniest thing ever. Nobody ever expected me to add back from Griff. Yeah. And then the one punishment that I should have replaced with the super, but eh, I got lazy. Um, this card is extremely good because, like I said, if I end up setting up my full board, this is a pop, so I don't have to fear talents at that point. And if I end on Dolka or Lagia, it really just depends how I'm feeling and what I'm playing against. They're just not breaking it. It's a poor man's talk, by the way. Whatever. It's, it's gonna be a super the next time I see you. He has three supers now. He got them from me. Good man. <laughs> we played the we played the double Nibiru. You don't own cards. Shut up. Um, I feel like playing three. I feel like playing three is too much. Siding at two plus, I'm already siding or er, maining. Like turn ender hand trap, so I felt like playing two Nibiru on the side would be worth it. Uh, this was more so for prank kids, not so much for Dragon Link because Dragon Link, uh, you still tribute the spheres and then they still continue from there. Uh, the one Feather Duster and the three Cosmics. This is for back row. Uh, just helps break through that because dinos have a more difficult time with back row than anything. I decided to side to uh, the two talents rather than maining them. They never came up, never drew them, never really needed them, so I like, eh, it is what it is. The one red reboot, also for back row decks, never saw it. Um, two anti spells, this is my only way to deal with Dark Ruler. Uh, I did draw it and it actually won me the game. Because dude was trying to push the main phase out and draw phase. And he just looked at me and scooped. Uh, Why no Imperial Order? I didn't play Imperial Order simply because uh, the paying cost aspect of it. I killed some uh, last Sunday. I actually ended up killing my opponent because he Imperial Order. But this, I can turn off my own spells for the turn, make them wait, and by the time my turn comes back around, my spells are alive. And then at that point, I can push for game. So I just felt like turning off the spells for a turn was better than turning them off permanently and then just being stuck with dead cards. Uh, double evenly, again, to break boards, whether it was combo or back row. Because Dragon Link, at this point, they end with like one Omni Negate and the rest is, you know, just regular interruption. So bait out the Savage and then drop this, break their whole board. Um, and then the two Ice Dragon Prison. This came up against Dinos, this came up against Dragon Link, this came up against Eldritch. Each time it came up, it ended a turn. So I was very, very content with this. Uh, extra deck. The one Link Karibo, the one Secure Gardener. I can still do this play. I was expecting to see Bird Up for occasionally. So if I saw Bird Up, I would just go for this route rather than the Wind Barrier. 
but it never came up, so I wasn't concerned about it. The only time I did this play was um, if I bricked, but I didn't brick, so. The Reproducus to facilitate the Samoric play, Pentastag to push for game, never dropped it, uh, wasn't needed. Phoenix and Unicorn, um, these help break boards, uh, specifically more so back row. The Unicorn just spins away anything that's bothersome. <clears throat> Sip more. Access code, never summoned it. I've been debating cutting it, but it's also, if I'm under Lancia, I could just push for this to make access code and then kill them that way. Uh, Dugaris. I can either Monster Reborn, draw to discard one, or um, Nate Conductor 7k, and push that way. I did this once, he scooped before I even got to battle phase. Why are you guys here? Why are you alive? <laughs> the one battle, uh, Abyss Dweller, haven't made it. I always found Doka to be better, but I keep it there just in case. Uh, Tornado Dragon, this is to out my own Wind Barrier Lock if I know I'm going to kill the following turn. Plus, it's back row removal. The one Doka, this is the MVP of the deck. I keep summoning this. This is the most summon card. Started summoning Lagia a lot more once I realized, like, oh, they don't have any hand traps. Summon Lagia just in case they have, uh, I don't know, Regeki. Dark Hole. Dark Hole. <laughs> <laughs> people are playing that. I had my entire board outed by Rageki twice, and it annoyed the hell out of me. On so Sunday, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I got knitted. And then the one Titanic Clyde and the Intis to facilitate, um, <laughs> to facilitate, uh, the dear servant. punishment and the dear servant. This card is severely underappreciated, and this is actually where I misplayed in uh, against the Dragonlink player. Had I added Ecclesia, or I should have summoned Ecclesia. Added the Fleur de Lis, that would have been uh, able to push for game and then into time, and then that would have been it. But I forgot, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be honorable, and that fucked me over in the end. <coughs> so, that was it. Um, like I said, I only lost once on Sunday. Today, man, I lost a little bit more than once. Shout outs to this fat ass over here. Dude, I got some free food, bro, out of this. I don't care. It is what it is. <laughs> Shout out to Vic, you know, my mentor. Shout out to Haggerty, the other big old whatever. Um, Butterball. <laughs> bro, I ain't no Butterball, dude. Shout out to where we played on Sunday. Shout out to my boy Brian because he sold me the talents and the droplets. And that's all, really. All right. Signing off, guys.